My dear Norman, I don't think I really do know much about jobs except the one I had during the war, and that certainly did not involve any travelling. I think they do take on conscripts. It certainly involved a good deal of hard thinking, but whether you'd be interested, I don't know. Philip Hall was in the same racket, and on the whole, I should say he didn't care for it. However, I am not at present in a state in which I am able to concentrate well, for reasons explained in the next paragraph. I have now got myself into the kind of trouble that I have always considered to be quite a possibility for me, though I have usually rated it at about ten to one against. I shall shortly be pleading guilty to a charge of sexual offences with a young man. The story of how it all came to be found out is a long and fascinating one, which I shall have to make into a short story one day, but haven't the time to tell you now. No doubt I shall emerge from it all a different man, but quite who I've not found out. Glad you enjoyed the broadcast. Jefferson certainly was rather disappointing, though. I'm afraid that the following syllogism may be used by some in the future. Turing believes machines can think. Turing lies with men. Therefore, machines do not think. Yours in distress, Alan. Thank <laughs> you.